Hey everyone, in this video we are going to take a look at the new Cloud 3.5 Sonnets uh, computer control capabilities. In a single file, the example that uses AWS Sandbox environment was very complex. You can of course use it, uh, and Tropic has that in their documentation, but I've simplified it to running locally. That's why I have put a warning message, which you should read, uh, that runs on your computer and works well. I'm going to play to you uh, three demos that I've recorded. The first one is going to be uh, the computer control launching cloud chat and asking it to write a haiku. Let's begin with that. It's, it's going to have some music, just so you know. Okay, next one is going to be a computer control launching calculator to calculate uh, something. By the way, we will be reviewing the code, so stay tuned for that. So up to the next demo. And the final demo is going to be computer control launching the notepad and writing hello world in it. Let's watch this and then we will be reviewing the code. Okay, so we have quite a lot of imports and the requirements are listed here. So this works well on Windows. Uh, we actually don't need these, but I think it should work well on Mac OS as well. It just uses Pio to GUI and keyboard and pillow for screenshot taking. Uh, there is a, a warning message. Be very careful running the script. This runs locally on your machine, no sandbox. Uh, I put an artificial delay by default of five seconds before executing any actions. So you can actually change that if you want, but it is set to five seconds. Keep a watchful eye on it and stop the script if it's trying to do something you don't want. Okay, by running the script, you assume responsibility of the outcomes. The uh, source code for this is available at my Patreon. Link will be in the description and the comment. So we have a global configuration for action confirmation delay by default five seconds. We also configure Py uh, Autogui safety, so uh, enables fail safe corner movement to stop execution sets a minimum delay between actions. We define the core type literals for actions and commands, such as keyboard presses, text inputs, mouse move, left click, left click, drag, right click, middle. Yeah, all of this, screenshot and cursor position. We also have commands that represent file operations. Actually, this is very interesting. Somebody on Twitter posted that these can be used for uh, as a tool, a function, a built-in function with Claude that can actually do file manipulations, but that's for another video. We define the uh, resolution for the screen because cloud, uh, Anthropic documentation recommends XGA or WXGA and not to exceed it. In this script, we will actually be using 1080p, uh, but we will be scaling it down and doing all the uh, conversions here. We have the FWXGA, but we're not actually using it. Okay, we have a data class uh, for tool results. This represents the results of a tool operation. This encapsulates various, various types of outputs that can be produced. For example, the text output, error message, image data, or system messages. The class supports Boolean values for these. Uh, this actually returns true if a field uh, has anything other than none. 
Uh, this, I'm not sure, but new instance with specified fields replaced. Tool error is a custom exception for tool specific error. So this wasn't exactly a whole walk in the park, but uh, it works well. I think if you uh, go over it, you'll understand it. Computer tool provides an interface for computer interaction through mouse and keyboard. This class handles screen resolution, scaling between virtual and physical coordinates, mouse movements and clicking, keyboard input, screenshot capture, action verification, and safety delays. The tool operates in a virtual resolution space and scales coordinates to match the actual resolution because the API only recognizes while well, we're sending WXGA resolution to the API and then we are converting between them. Uh, we have to give it a name, computer, and API type of this type. Um, so that is just the way that we are actually going to set the uh, configuration for the API. So we are design, uh, assigning the variable seal here. I would like to take a moment to talk about the benefits of becoming a patron. As some of you may know, in the last year and a half, I've spent 3,000 hours, over 300 uh, projects. As a patron, you will have access to all the code files so you can get inspiration and iterate quickly. Another benefit is that you'll have access to all my courses and my most recent and most proud one, the 1000X Masterclass, teaching how I what I've learned on how to code fast and efficiently. Also the Streamlit course and the Fast API course. In my Patreon, I also have tiers in which you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. Check those out as well. Initialize uh, with screen resolution detection, uh, actual screen resolution. We print target resolution is WXGA. We get the width and height for that, uh, and that's it. We return the tool parameters for API configuration, the type, the name, display resolution, and display number has to be one. Okay, the next uh, is the execute computer in interaction actions. This method validates and processes input parameters, applies safety, scales coordinates if needed, executes the requested action, captures verification, and returns results and error information. Okay, uh, there is a delay, so uh, just you would have to interfere with it before the delay expires. So we try to get action description for the user feedback. And then we print the pending action. Uh, we apply the safety delay. Uh, you can if you can set this to none if you wanted no delay, but I wouldn't recommend it. And then we print that we are waiting for that many seconds. You can control C the abort at that time, and we sleep for that much time. And then we process the coordinates, scale coordinates to physical screen size here, so because we want to do the conversion. Execute requested action based on the type. So we check, so these are all the actions we're gonna receive from the API, like such as mouse move, left click drags, uh, stuff like that, okay? So, uh, and then we execute those actions with PyAutoGUI, Pi moving to those coordinates here. If the action is key, then we send the keyboard or we write with PyAutoGUI. Otherwise, if actions are left click, right click, middle click, we handle those with PyAutoGUI. Uh, and cursor position again, screenshot or capture verification screenshot after the fact. Uh, if there are any errors, we print them. So we scale the coordinates here to match the resolutions that we are using and we're sending inverse scale coordinates. Uh, take screenshot, this one actually takes a screenshot and returns it, that action description. So this generates human readable description for pending actions. So uh, when when we have like mouse move, we actually return these so we can print it to the user, like we uh, performing which action, for example, like we remove the underscores and stuff like that. All right, edit tool, file editing tool for text manipulation, provides capabilities for viewing file contents, creating new files, string replacement, line insertion, and edit history tracking. So this is very cool. It's called the string replace editor. This is like a separate function. Okay, then the so-called, let's say, computer control. So it actually, this stuff comes with three separate um, tools. So I highly recommend you read Anthropic's documentation on that. API type is called text editor. Reinitialize the file history to empty return tool parameters for API configuration for this particular tool. And then here is the execute file editing operations. So we uh, validate the path, because it's going to deal with path, handle different commands, if it's view, for example, and then 
we handle the tool result, create or replace, for example, or insert. Yeah, and if error, we printed. And then we format the output, format file content with line numbers for display. Computer Control API class is the main API class for computer control interface, communicates with Entropics API tool coordination, conversion flow, and message handling tool execution. So we initialize API with our API key, the model, the computer tool, and the edit tool. And then we run the conversation, which is going to take in user input, execute API communication and tool execution, uh, result processing, and conversion state management. So we get the system prompt, which we will see. We are still defining the methods and classes. Uh, computer control assistant initialize is going to print and the resolution. Uh, this is actually WXGA. Anyway, slight mistake. So while true, we get a user input. What would you like me to do? Uh, actually, a little later, we are also going to ask uh, the amount of delay that the user is wants. And we are just going to enter the user input as uh, the role user. And here we initialize the client beta messages create with the messages list system tool. Tools are the uh, edit tool and the computer tool, mix tokens 4,000. You can, I believe, use also 8,000. We also have to add extra headers for computer use for October 22nd. Process assistance response. We initialize the tool calls empty list and handle the response. We check to see if it has a tool call. Then we append block name, block input, block ID, and then we print the planning process. Uh, if this is text, that is, because the planning process happens in, as text, then we append that as regular content to the messages. Uh, if there is no action, uh, then we go back to taking user input, no actions to perform, continue. So if you say yes, then uh, go back to the beginning of the loop. Execute tools and collect results. If there is a tool call, then we get the name and the input. And we select a, a proper tool, whether it's a computer tool or the edit tool. Then we print that it's executing, and then we run that. And then we collect the results. Type is tool result. We get the ID inserted uh, if there is any error and content of the result. We append it. Show results to the user. Uh, and then a small delay between actions. Uh, just, just so everything runs a little slower. You can remove all these, but you know, you then you have to be very careful to remember. We print any errors, uh, and then we append any tool results, uh, and we check for more errors. Uh, this is the format tools for API communication. For example, if there's any errors, if there's any system message, uh, the output. The in, inserting the screenshots is a base64 image. And here's the system prompt method. Uh, you are utilizing a Windows machine. You may want to change this if you're on a Mac. You can control the computer through mouse movements, clicks, and keyboard input. The display is configured for WXGA. All coordinates you receive sent should be in this resolution. After each action, you will receive a screenshot to confirm the result. Each action requires user confirmation. We are enter key before execution. This is actually not true, uh, but I won't change it because I know it works. This is what I was trying to do earlier, but that's that wasn't possible. Yeah, before inserting the delay for safety, I was actually going to allow user to confirm it enter, but some but the you can't really do that because if you switch to the terminal, then you are actually interfering with the keyboard processes that are taking place while controlling the system. You can use both keyboard send for special keys and type. Important notes, always take a screenshot. I've added this, but I think, I believe it does that automatically. I'm not sure. Always take small deliberate steps. When using Firefox, there's some additional information. So you can read this, pause and read, special keys, current date. We use date time to get the current date. And main is the entry point for computer control, API key configuration, wait time configuration, API initialization, main conversation loop execution, and error handling cleanup happens here. We check for entropy key from system environment variables. If not, we input it uh, and we set it actually. Uh, and wait before action is we're going to ask the user enter wait time. By default, it's five seconds. Uh, you can also enter none for no wait. I wouldn't recommend it. Okay. 
Otherwise, you can set it to something like one second if you're doing something simple. This is what I did in those demos. But I would highly recommend you start with five seconds and observe it and do something very simple. That's it. Then we initialize computer uh, control API. We run it. Uh, we check for keyboard interruptions. Uh, so you can set this debug to true for detailed error messages. And then we set the fail safe to true, set the pi auto GUI pause to 0 0.1, and then just run it with async IO. So yeah, it's, it's quite a lot, 650 lines of code with comments and all. But um, yeah, there's also a readme. Like I said, you can download it from my Patreon. Um, uh, if, and uh, yeah, it's available. Also, if you're enjoying my content, you can take a look at my website, echohive.live, where you can find all my videos, over 350 now. And you can just watch them for free, like Fast Transcriber, All One Autocoder. There's quite a lot of stuff here. And if you do decide to become a paying patron, you can actually download each one of the code files by just clicking the download uh, link. So it just makes everything very convenient. But you can, if you don't uh, want to become a patron, then you can actually just uh, watch the videos for free. You can also become a free patron. I uh, regularly release free content for free patrons as well. Uh, but uh, also, the cursor has gotten quite a lot of updates. The new model is here as well. The Cloud 3.5 latest Sonnet, it works amazingly. And the new Apply feature, it now works super fast. It's just uh, really, uh, you know, it's a pleasure to work with Cursor now. And I do have my 1000x mass Cursor course with 25 chapters over 15 hours. So if you're serious about learning Cursor, which I highly recommend, then I highly recommend my 1000x Cursor course as well. You can watch the first chapter for free and preview each chapter for two minutes. So I have 25 uh, chapters of building full uh, applications uh, is to show my process on how I actually deal with Cursor. Just so take a look, see if this is something you're interested in. Also, uh, if you'd like to speak with me one-on-one -on -one, or if you need help with your projects, I do have consulting tiers and my higher level Patreon tiers. Take a look at those as well. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video.